It may not look like much from the shore, but get a bit closer and the size of this massive floating solar panel array reveals itself. The 23,000 panels lying here on the surface of the QE2 reservoir in West London are part of a £6 million project by Thames Water. It's taken workers and divers years to complete the construction, and when it's finished later this month, it'll be the largest of its kind in Europe. Once they're active, these solar panels here will generate enough energy to power the local water treatment plant and provide clean water for almost 10 million Londoners. But why put them in the reservoir? The answer from Thames Water and the company providing the panels is simple. Why not? You're in the centre of London here. There aren't that many fields around and I'm not sure it would be cost effective to put any on this. This is a great example of how we're using, utilising space that would, would usually be used for, you know, what it continues to be used for. But as well as that, we can add an, an, a, a, a new life to the actual, um, to the space. Um, so, not only are we generating the electricity on space that wasn't being utilised, but we're also having Thames Water themselves, who obviously own and operate the site, buy all of the electricity that we produce. So, I mean, it's, it's a win-win for all parties, I think. The array is one of many plans by Thames Water to generate a third of its own energy by 2020. But this goal might get a bit tougher as government funding for renewable installations like these are slashed at the end of the month. And for Thames Water... It could mean future plans might face a bigger bill. As a well water company, what we're trying to do is reduce the costs and reduce the environmental impact for our, our customers. If, if the cost of the scheme makes it uneconomic, it won't, it won't go ahead. And the, the, the renewables obligation may, made those schemes cheaper, which meant they go, went forward. While it's not quite one third of their power, for Thames Water and for Londoners paying the water bill, it's a start.